Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we are not going to be focusing on any particular city. What we are going to do is focus on an architectural style known as Victorian homes. And we've got seven amazing homes to show you located all over the world. So stay tuned. Okay, so welcome to another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes, and today we are going to be looking at Victorian-style architecture homes, and probably one of the more famous ones is the Harlexton Manor in Lincolnshire in the United Kingdom, and I will say that even more famous than that is going to be the homes located in san francisco california known as the painted ladies people come from all over the world to see these homes located on steiner street in san francisco and they're absolutely gorgeous victorian architectural style homes okay and one more thing we're going to look at is the fantasy dream homes page on pinterest where you actually can look at, among other things, uh, architectural styles of homes. So if we click in on the, this particular board right here, and if you scroll down, you see all these different, very famous architectural styles of uh, residential, you know, residential architecture. And here we have Victorian homes. Let's uh, pop open this page, and I'll tell you a little bit about Victorian homes. So Victorian style homes became popular during the reign of Queen Victoria, and she reigned from 1837 to 1901. And they're characterized by having uh, Gothic influences that they're typically large and imposing, two to three stories. They're constructed of stone and intricately designed woodwork. They often have pitched gabled roofs, wraparound front porches, cylindrical turrets, and roof towers. The Victorians were experimenting with paint colors and looking to be the height of fashion. So as a result, the exteriors of many Victorian homes were brightly painted with bold, vibrant hues and darker shades of color. The interiors, they can often be found with multiple rooms, which can be used for a variety of purposes. You'll likely find a living room, a den, a library, and nooks and crannies. And the doorways and window molding are often intricate, and the windows are large and tall, typically. Ceilings are high and sometimes feature unique designs or framing. Now, one thing you want to note before we start looking is, if you're looking for wide open spaces, a Victorian home is not for you. So you, open spaces are not going to work for you there. They're going to be more vertical spaces, and they're going to be narrow. And it's going to be really interesting to see how these homes we're going to be looking at, how people, you know, the designers, how they laid out the homes so that they're very efficient. Because you have a real limited space to work with horizontally. It's all going to be vertical. So our featured real estate site is Zillow, and we're going to start by looking at our first home. So our first home is located in Belleville, Texas. It's going for almost a million dollars. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, almost 2,800 square feet. It's sitting on a little over half an acre of land and it was built in the year 1910. So let's take a virtual tour of our first Victorian home.
Okay, so our second home is going for $2.2 million. And this one's located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 9,300 square feet, sitting on about a third of an acre of land. And it was built in the year 1891. So let's take a virtual tour. Our next home is located in Newton, Massachusetts. It's going for $2.5 million approximately, six bedrooms, four bathrooms, over 3,700 square feet, sitting on a little over half an acre of land. It was built in the year 1895. Let's take a virtual tour of our third fantasy dream home.
Okay, so this next home is located in the country of New Zealand. We're going to be using the real estate site, realestate.co.nz. And it's in Dunedin City, New Zealand. And the price is not listed, and I found on most New Zealand real estate sites I look at, they don't list the price, and I'm guessing because it's negotiable? I don't know. So if you know, put it in the comments. And we're, it's going to be nine bedrooms, five bathrooms. The interior space is 410 square meters, a little over 4,400 square feet, sitting on a lot that's over 1,600 square meters, and it was built in the year 1905. So let's take a virtual tour of this Dunedin City, New Zealand, Victorian Fantasy Dream Home. Okay, so the next fantasy dream home we're going to look at is in Newton, Massachusetts. It's almost $2.8 million. It's eight bedrooms, five bathrooms, over 6,800 square feet, sitting on almost a half an acre of land, built in the year 1875. Let's take a virtual tour of this next fantasy dream home.
All right, so our next fantasy dream home is going to be located out of the country into Toronto, Ontario in Canada. And this is going for almost 4.2 million Canadian dollars. There are four bedrooms, five bathrooms, unknown interior space, unknown lot size, unknown built date. None of that is located in this listing which is too bad, but let's take a virtual tour of this next fantasy dream home.
All right, so our final fantasy dream home of the day is located in San Francisco. Very fitting that we came back to San Francisco. And it's going for almost $4.5 million. Eight bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 7,500 square feet interior. I'm going to say the lot size is unknown. Right here it says 6390 but you tell me how that's physically possible to have a house that's bigger than its lot. So that's there's a mistake there, obviously. So we'll just say unknown lot size. Built in the year 1900. Let's check out our final Victorian fantasy dream home of the day.
Okay, so that wraps up another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes. We want to thank you so much for watching. If you like the program, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And as always, we want you to be very safe during this pandemic. Keep smiling, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.